Tokofa, Nga Toki, E Toru, Nga Rauna, Kapakanga, Te Tokoroa, Kotahi, E Toa, Kokosaho, and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and ends up at this, the Brain Buster. What's happening? It's Tyler Nathan Wong. Our contestants look ready and so am I. But the big question is, are you ready? Let's go! Kia ora, Tyler. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Haremai, welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate Brain Buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet them now. First up today, it's Logan. Great to have you here on the show, Logan. Talk to me about water polo. Yeah, I've been playing water polo for five years now, and recently our school team won our tournament. Congratulations. Uh, shout out to which school? Churchill Park. Very good stuff. So what was the tournament, Logan? Uh, it was the North Islands tournament where 12 different teams competed from all over the North Islands. Brilliant stuff. So obviously a very keen competitor. Are we going to expect to see that more of that competitive side from you today? Hopefully. Excellent, Logan. Good luck. Phoebe joins us as well. Welcome to Brain Busters. Phoebe, how are you feeling about being here in our Brain Buster studio? Pretty good. Quite nervous. But ready for action? Yeah. Love it. Now, Phoebe, right into your horse riding, but it's that horse riding's actually transitioned into something else now. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, um, this year I started playing polo for school, which is pretty cool. We get to go out to this place once a week and ride there at Wairika Polo. So how difficult is it compared to just regular horse riding? I mean, me as someone who is, has never ridden a horse before, that already looks complicated enough. But now you want to play more, more of a sport with it as well? That's yeah. got to be quite tricky. Yeah, it definitely adds another element of trickiness trying to hold on to your mallet and steer and stay on. A lot to think about. Loving it though? Yeah. Great to hear it. Thanks, Phoebe. Robert joins us as well. Robert, a keen tennis player. So what's your best shot? Are we doing that smash serve? Is it that we drop shot backhand? What's your best shot that you've got? Um, I don't know. I am... Or is it all of them? <laughs> it, it really depends, honestly. <laughs> depends on the day? Yeah. Yeah. How, how long have you been playing tennis for, Robert? Uh, about four years. And what do you love about it? Um, sort of that it's all about you and you don't, you don't have any teammates so you, all the pressure's on you. It is. And I suppose that's some great practice before coming on to Brain Busters because again, all the pressure is on you. Do you think you can handle that pressure in this setting? Hopefully. Good luck to you, Robert. We also have Rhea joining us on the show today. Rhea, you're a keen netball player. Yeah. What got you into netball, Rhea? Um, my mom kept practicing me and um, she made me get into it no matter what. And, yeah. <laughs> so would you say, you know, just uh, uh, is it strongly encouraged yeah. you to play netball? Yeah. So I'm guessing you, yeah, you guys would practice a lot together. Big question, who's better at netball? Is it you, Rhea, or is it your mum? My mum. Are you just saying that because she's probably watching this right now? Maybe. <laughs> now here it's not the only thing you kind of want to follow in mum's footsteps with. What else do you want to do when you're a bit older? Probably be a flight attendant. Which is very cool. So your mum was a flight attendant, right? Yeah. How long was she a flight attendant for? 16 years. Wow, that is an amazing career. So cool that you want to follow in your mum's footsteps. I'm sure she's going to want to follow in your steps today as a brain buster competitor. She'll be playing from home along with everyone else. So let's get into it and take on the first challenge. It's Mega Memory. 10 points for a correct answer in Mega Memory. 90 seconds on the clock. So, let's get into it. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a sequel to which movie? Logan. Black Panther. Barack Obama was the president of which country? Logan. The United States. Who wrote the Harry Potter book series? Phoebe. JK Rowling. Jenny Shipley was the first female prime minister of which country? New Zealand. Is the decathlon an athletics event or a 10-sided Robert? Athletics. What is the three-letter abbreviation for the Australian Broadcasting Corporation? Phoebe. ABC. 
is a white bait, a little fish or a big worm? Logan. Fish. What is the most spoken language in Brazil? Robert. Brazilian. Portuguese. Which musical features the song Revolting Children? Phoebe. Matilda. And Winnie the Pooh, is Eeyore a donkey or a horse? Logan. Donkey. Which team won the Women's Rugby Union World Cup in 2022? That would be the Black Ferns. On which continent would you find the country of Kenya? Phoebe. Africa. How many wives did Henry VIII have? Robert. Three. Six. How many species of land snakes are native to New Zealand? Logan. Zero. Correct. Is Black Widow a Marvel or DC hero? Logan. Marvel. Which South American country was named after Simon Bolivar, Paraguay, Chile or Bolivia? Robert. Paraguay. Bolivia. And that is it for Mega Memory. Thank you all for playing. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Logan has the lead with 60 points. Phoebe is on 40 points. Robert has zero points and Rhea also has zero points. So now we move into our specialist subject rounds and seeing that Robert and Rhea both share the same score, we'll go from left to right, meaning Robert, you get to go first today. So what have you chosen to play? Equalizer. Kia ora, Robert. Let's play Equalizer. Robert, please step forward. Robert, first up, taking on our specialist subject rounds today. What's your reason for choosing Equalizer? I think I'm good at math. Brilliant stuff. Well, you know what to do. 20 points for every equation. You get correct. Hoping for that perfect score. 100 points it's worth. So big points up for grabs here. Good luck. Let's get into it. 108 divided by 9 equals... 12. Correct. 148 subtract 26 multiplied by 3 equals 366. The square root of 100 multiplied by 0 0.72 equals 7.2. Correct. 62 multiplied by 3 subtract 153 plus 56 equals 89 is right 88 subtract 33 multiplied by 5 equals 275 is correct. Fast on the tennis court, fast with our brain buster equations. Robert, we were hoping for that perfect score and there it is. Congratulations, what a start to our special subjects. Thank you for playing Equalizer. Robert jumps straight into first place with 100 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject round today will be Rhea. So Rhea, what have you chosen to play? Blueprinter. Thank you very much, Rhea. Let's play Blueprinter. Rhea, no my hide am I. Rhea, it is time to test your memory. So, do you think you have a good memory? Maybe. We're gonna find out by taking on Blueprinter. 30 seconds to have a look at what your Blueprinter is. 30 more seconds to put those answers in. Best of luck, here is your Blueprinter. It is Universal Volcano Bay. Your time starts now. Splash into Universal's Volcano Bay, where tropical dreams ride on waves of fun. Here, the mighty volcano stands tall, not with fiery fury, but with slides that swoosh you into the cool blue bliss. It's not just a water park, but an island of adventures, where every splash is a cheer and every ripple is a rhythm of relaxation. Time. 30 seconds to put your answers in, which starts now. Huh? 
halfway. Out of time, dear. Sorry, Rhea. All right. Unfortunately, just had the one on there. All we can hope is that we see some green. So let's take a look. Oh, unfortunately, couldn't quite get it. Rhea just ran out of time. So a little bit unlucky there, Rhea. But hey, thank you very much for taking on the challenge. No change to the leaderboard after Rhea's round. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subjects. FRKNA, Phoebe and Logan will take on their subjects, but of course all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. Don't slip on the Corpus Colossum or get tangled in the web tunnel and you might just win the Brain Buster. Today's players better be ready for it. Next up to take on the Weddle today will be Phoebe. So Phoebe, what are you playing? Spellbinder. Thank you Phoebe. Let's play Spellbinder. Phoebe, no more hide am I? Phoebe, how are you feeling about taking on Spellbinder? Good. Back yourself when it comes to spelling? Yep. Can spell some pretty tricky words when you're at school doing some work and stuff? Um, most of the time, <laughs> some of the time. A little bit of uncertainty in your voice there? No, we'll be fine. I think you'll be fine as well. Phoebe, let's get into it. Good luck. First word, heyday. Can I please have that in a sentence? Radio has had its heyday. H-E-Y-D-A-Y. -Y. Is correct. Spell contour. Can I please have that in a sentence? The road climbs following the contour of the hill. C-O-N-T-O-U-R. Correct. Immunity. I M M U N I T Y. Nice work. Spell guacamole. G U A C O M O L. G U A C A M O L E. Very close. And your final word is. Aviation. A V I A T I O N. That is correct, Phoebe. Great spelling. Really good spelling. I think you're just one letter off from getting a perfect score. So, some really good points there for you. Congratulations. Thanks for playing Spellbinder. Phoebe is in first place with 120 points. And we have just one more player remaining to take on their specialist subject round. That player is Logan. So Logan, what will you be playing? Identifier. Thank you, Logan. Let's play Identifier. Logan, please step forward. Logan, a great start for you after Mega Memory. How are you feeling before heading into the final specialist subject round? Bit nervous, but excited. What, what makes you nervous about taking on Identifier, Logan? I don't know, I just want to get points. Well, you've already got a whole bunch. Let's see how many more you can get. Good luck. Time to take on Identifier. Identify three types of environmental disasters. Correct. Eliminate the three types of prehistoric animals. Also right. NaCl, CO2, CH4. Arrange these chemical formulas in the order of carbon dioxide, sodium chloride, and methane. C 
CO2 is carbon dioxide, but then it is sodium chloride there for NaCl, and then methane is CH4. Which three of these elements are metals? You know your metal slogan, good stuff. And finally, fingernail, tooth enamel, skin. Arrange these body substances from softest to hardest. Three green mean another 20 points for Logan. No messing about with that round. Got the points, did the job, nicely done. Congratulations and thanks for playing Identifier. Logan is back in the lead with 140 points. Phoebe has 120 points. Robert is on 100 points. Then we have Rhea in fourth place there, which means Rhea, I'm sorry to say, you have been eliminated from Brain Busters. Not going home empty handed. A $50 bank account is yours. What are you going to do with the money? Probably spend it on my mum's gift for her birthday. Well, a massive happy birthday to your mum from all the team here at Brain Busters. I know she'll be very proud of you as well, Rhea. So congratulations and thank you for playing Brain Busters. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Three contestants remain, but only two can take on the Brain Buster. I can't wait to see what happens. You and me both, Tyler. So now we head into our brain teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options are Sequencer and Te Orangatera. So Logan, Phoebe and Robert, please vote for which one you would like to play now. All votes have been cast. We'll first take a look and see what Logan has selected. It is Sequencer. Phoebe would like to play. Sequencer as well, and Robert would like to play Sequencer, making it three out of three. So let's play Sequencer. 30 points if you can identify the correct sequence. Fail to do so, 30 points will be taken away from you. So let's get straight into the brain teaser. Good luck, everybody. Here is your first sequence. Football, rugby union, netball. Arrange these sports by playing time for a full game, from shortest to longest. Robert. Netball, rugby, um, football. Robert, needing these points currently in that elimination spot. And manages to escape it for now. Well done, Robert. Next sequence, Christmas Day. Matariki, Chinese New Year. Starting in January, arrange these celebrations. Robert. Chinese New Year, Matariki, Christmas Day. Starting in January, arrange these celebrations from earliest to latest in the year. Robert, you are correct again, and now take the lead. And finally, human, Cheetah, Leopard. Put these creatures in order of maximum speed from Robert. Human, Leopard, Cheetah. Put these creatures in order of maximum speed from fastest to slowest. Someone was a little bit fast on the buzzer actually, Robert. Had the wrong order, but I think he knew what it was as well. So unlucky to finish off that way, but still a great effort. Stealing the show, Robert. And that does complete the brain teaser. So let's check in with the final leaderboard. Logan is on 140 points. Robert now has 130 points. Then we have Phoebe on 120 points. So unfortunately, Phoebe, you have been eliminated from Brain Busters today, but you're going home with a $75 bank account. So what are you gonna do with the money? Um, probably go shopping. A shopping spree? Yeah. Well deserved, Phoebe. Enjoy it, and all the best with the polo as well. Thank you. 
And a big congratulations to Logan and Robert. For them, it's on to the Brain Buster. It's time for the battle to begin. You ready to do this, team? Three, two, one. Cut a few It's a battle of the sporting codes as Robert takes on Logan. Who's coming away with the dub today? Let's find out. Both boys out of their harnesses and spiraling down the neurotransmitter. Oh no, Robert, molecule step first. This allows Logan an extended lead as he now makes his way as a double-sided approach with the Corpus Colossum. Robert with the single. Don't count Robert out yet though, Farno. He's making that comeback. Boom! Down goes Logan's wall. Robert entering his code and bam! Down goes his too. It's a race up the prowl to Logan. It looks like Logan still holds the slightest lead over Robert as he powers through the web tunnel. Both boys fighting hard to get this win today. Logan out of the web tunnel first. Robert right behind him. They're now on the frontal lobe heading towards the DNA ladder. Logan's still holding the slightest lead, but would you look at this? It looks like Robert's close to gap. It's back to being neck and neck. It's come down to who can get the switches in the right place at the DNA ladder. Who's it gonna be? Robert or Logan? And would you look at that, it's Logan. Well done, Logan. Robert's got the green light too, but it looks like Logan's just too far ahead. One more under for Logan, and congratulations, buddy. You're our Brain Buster champion. Awesome racing, Robert. Great racing. Well done, Logan, and well done, Robert. Robert, let's quickly have a chat to you. Second place, my friend. What did you think of the course? Yeah, pretty fun. It looked like you had a whole lot of fun there. Almost outran the hippocampus there at one point, but still a brilliant effort today. Second place as well, so a $100 bank account is yours. What are you going to do with the money? Um, Probably buy some board games or some books. Great choice. Robert, enjoy that, and thank you for playing Brain Busters today. Logan, you're like a mouse chasing after the cheese there. You had one goal in mind and it was victory and today you've earned it. Congratulations. What did you think of the Ultimate Obstacle course? Oh, it was really fun. Just quite tiring. Any highlights of the course? Uh, definitely those steps over there. The frontal lobe. The frontal lobe. A favourite of many, yeah. Logan, including me. Well, <laughs> you nailed it. Great effort. One thing left to do, it's taking on Amygdala. Logan, welcome to Amygdala, my friend. How are you feeling about making it to the final round? Pretty nervous. What are you nervous about? Just everything, general <laughs> nerves. It's a lot. Don't have to worry about the players, but you yep. do have to worry about a little thing called money. $270 worth of it as That's well. It is a whole lot of money. Proud of yourself, make it to the final round? Yeah, pretty proud. Did you think you are gonna make it to the final round? To be honest, not really. Yet here you are. Yep. There's one thing left to do. It's answering these questions and hopefully walking away with a whole lot of money. Yeah. So Logan, good luck. It's time to play amygdala. In which part of your body is your skull? Uh, your head. Correct. Which football position wears a different colour to the other members of their team? Goalie. Correct. True or false, Allbirds is a footwear and clothing brand? False. Unfortunately, it is true. Yeah, very popular, very comfortable apparently. <laughs> Never knew sure. that. Yeah. In 1962, did Barry Devonport become the first person to swim or the first person to surf across the Cook Strait? Uh, I'd say swim. Barry did in fact swim across the Cook Strait. True or false, Turkish Delight is a jelly-like sweet dusted with sugar. Uh, true. Delicious and correct. Really like Turkish Delights. Same, underrated. So many people don't like them. Mm. You know the favourites boxes? Yeah, my mum doesn't like them. I don't know why people don't like them. Cherry Ripe? Understandable. That's understandable. I disagree with that. Wait, you like Cherry Ripes as well? Yeah. Oh, Logan, I thought we had a thing. <laughs> I thought we had a thing. I thought we had a moment. Okay, let's just forget about the Cherry Ripe thing. We'll yep. just, we'll just, we'll let's just continue. cherish. Not the Cherry Ripe, but the Turkish Delight moment, okay? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Next question. Who is younger, Justin Bieber 
or Justin Timberlake? I'd say Justin Bieber. You think Justin Bieber's younger than Justin Timberlake? Yeah, I don't know though. Big guess? Yeah, Justin Bieber. Final answer? Yep, Justin Bieber. Locked in. <laughs> and correct. Is the Sino Atrial Node a romantic holiday destination or specialised tissue that produces your heartbeat? I'd say the tissue. Final answer? Yep. Locked in? Yep. Correct. Desalination takes what out of seawater? I would say salt. And why would you say that, Logan? I don't know, it just sounds like a word, I don't know. It's just a... Desalination. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say salt. Locking it in? Yep. Salt locked in. Spot on. That's exactly what it is. On which continent is the Kalahari Desert? I'm gonna say Africa. Yeah. One in seven chance. Yeah. <laughs> Why Africa? I honestly don't know, it just sounds right. Not North America? No. Not South America? No. Asia, perhaps? No. Nah. Antarctica, even? <laughs> Definitely not Antarctica. Australia? Don't think so. So that leaves Europe and Africa? Yeah, I'm going to go with Africa. Lock me in. Couldn't possibly be Europe either. I don't think so. All right then, Logan, as you say, it is locked in. Yep. OK. You got it correct. Final question. True or false? Another true or false? Yeah, there are a lot of these. Some have been a bit trickier than others. Yep. Let's see how you go with this one. True or false? The Nintendo Switch doubles as a microwave. <laughs> false. I feel like that'd be quite useful, but sadly false. You don't think you could, like, take the top off? <laughs> Nah. You know, maybe chuck a can of spaghetti in there, <laughs> screw it back up, that would be quite start useful. playing some Mario, and then boom, <laughs> cooked up, al dente pasta, beautiful. Yeah, nah. False. Locking it in. It's locked in, Logan. And that is the right answer oh to finish off Amygdala. $243, Logan. Brilliant effort. What are you going to do with the money? Probably go somewhere fancy for dinner and then save the rest for later. I like it. A fancy feast. Where do you think you might go? I don't know yet. Somewhere fancy. Yeah, somewhere fancy. As you should. Well, I hope you dine in style, Logan. You definitely deserve it. Congratulations and thank you for playing Brain Busters today. You're walking away with $243. Do you have the smarts, the strength and the stamina to join us here on Brain Busters? Head online and take the test. Tēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.